help. I've cut out gluten and dairy from my diet, but I'm still getting bloated and I'm still running to the toilet multiple times in a day. What should I do? Hello, my name is Shalyn Oi and I'm an accredited practicing dietitian and a dietitian specializing in irritable bowel syndrome. So that's a really common complaint when I see clients coming to me for the first time and they've talked about trying to cut out dairy and gluten from the diet, but they're still not getting complete symptom resolution. So we know that the main treatment for IBS is the low FODMAP diet. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. So FODMAPs are carbohydrate sugars, and that is quite different to gluten. Gluten is actually a protein found in a lot of products that are in the same foods as FODMAPs are. So when someone's cutting out just a component of the FODMAP structure, they're not really getting complete symptom resolution from that. There's still a lot of foods with FODMAPs like juices, certain fruits and vegetables, lactose products or um, garlic and onion. So these are um, common foods that a lot of people find that causes bloating. So my advice is that if you were to cut up gluten and dairy, to make sure that you actually talk to your doctor and a dietitian beforehand, so we can help you to decide what's the best foods to cut out or remove from your diet for a short period of time. And you never want to cut these foods out forever. You just want to cut it out for a short period of time for about four to six weeks to see if you experience any symptom changes. And if your symptoms do significantly improve, then we'll look at bringing some of those foods back in your diet in a more systematic way to find out what your actual triggers are. When it comes to IBS, it's not just diet that is a trigger for a lot of patients. There's other things like stress, and lifestyle habits like how quick do you eat, how often do you eat, are you spacing out your meals for a long time, how much sleep do you get. There's a lot of different things to consider when it comes to IBS management. So it's important that you don't just cut out foods and without any specific guidance. If you like this video and find it useful, please like and share this with your friends or if you have any questions, please pop them below. Thank you for watching this video.